Welcome back to SBR Forum videos. The NBA Rookie of the Year odds have come out across several sports books. Now we have some odds that have been reshuffling, guys moving up and down the odds boards. And I'm here to give you an updated look at my three favorite plays here for the Rookie of the Year. And I want to start it off with a guy who, if you took his odds basically about two months ago, you'd be a lot happier. However, the outright favorite right now has moved to Emmanuel Moutier's favor. It used to be D'Angelo Russell. He's coming in third now. Jalil Okahor basically unchanged. But Moutier is going to have every last bit of opportunity, in my opinion, to win this award. He's probably going to be the starting point guard of the Denver Nuggets now that Ty Lawson is in Houston. And if Moutier can get the minutes, he's likely going to get the production too. It's going to be something similar to what Andrew Wiggins did, probably not to that scale, obviously, but what Andrew Wiggins did with the amount of uh, usage and the amount of shot attempts that he was getting per game. Moutier is going to have the range to that offense, basically, and uh, it's pretty much his show. If he, can, if he can put up production, I think his odds of win Rookie of the Year are pretty good. Another guy that I've been on a lot here throughout the summer and has been continually climbing in the odds boards is Miles Turner. He used to be like 15 to 1, and now he's all the way down to 9 to 1 at Paddy Power right now. Another guy, really a, a later in the, in the lottery, however, uh, he's going to get every bit of opportunity to play big minutes for an Indiana Pacers team that's light on big men, especially on big men who are two-way players, which I think Miles potentially in the future projects out to be. He doesn't have a bad offensive game, and his defense should be one of his strong suits as well. He's a big kid. He's probably going to get minutes at the 4 and the 5 for the Indiana Pacers, and as long as he's producing and not a liability on defense, you're going to see him put up similar numbers as well and be in there for a potentially a double-double and up there in the top three for the Rookie of the Year conversation. Now, finally, a guy that uh, has been talked about a lot, but I think that he he still, is, his odds are just outrageous at Paddy Power right now. It's 17 to 1. Mario Hazonia for the Orlando Magic. Another guy who probably will start for the Orlando Magic at the three position. I think he's obviously one of the more freakish athletic guys from this draft and has a lot of skills to boot for that. And I think that uh, that could put him in a pretty good position to be a, a really good contender and a really good uh, starter for this team long term, the Orlando Magic, especially here in year one in the Eastern Conference. So Mario Hazonia, don't sleep on him as well either at 17 to 1. Probably a really good long shot value considering that his odds at other places are anywhere between 10 and 12 to 1. So look at uh, Hazonia at Patty Power. But that'll do it for me this time. Make sure you check out some of our other NBA offseason content as we are just about a month away from the start of NBA training camp. But uh, until next time, for SBR Forum videos, I'm Jordan Sharp.